Hello and welcome to another Clubs and Corks Golf Podcast brought to you by Keenan Vineyards in lovely Spring Mountain of the Napa Valley. Ben Curtis, Bernice, and I still am Luke Taylor and the Keenan Bottles here. What should we name her? Claudia. 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 Claudia and Bernice. Sounds like Laverne and Shirley are back. Uh, Remember to subscribe, rate, and review all that other crap. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or on a Palmer, right? on a thumbs up, bums up, whatever. YouTube. Um, we need to do the uh, uh, stroke analyzation. Those are always kind of combo. We need to do it while we're drinking, though. What the swing? Yeah, now so we're going to do those again. Analysis, we'll yeah. get the drink. We'll get the. We'll do them once in a while. Yeah. No, those were kind of comical. Um, also, join our Patreon Excuse page. www.patreon.com <laughs> Clubs and Corks. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't smell it. So that was a gas. The bubble burp. No, Lisa not came out. The other way. Lisa came out the top, not the bottom. Because I will tell you, Better that's out a, than in. That's what I always say. That's a. <laughs> this is a great segue because I just came back from my golf trip and yeah, uh, I had a lot of meat farts. <sighs> barbecue. I can baby. only imagine what you eat. Bar barbecue, white barbecue sauce. We were in Alabama. White barbecue. Yeah, I'm gonna make you some. It lasts for three weeks. It's like Alfredo or what? No, it's mayonnaise based. It's got like a little pepper and garlic and. It's delicious. Like I just want to, I just want to pour it all over my body. Yeah, it's so huge. good. I mean, I don't mind mayonnaise, but it's just got it can't be it much. No, it's it's so mixed if it's in all there. mayonnaise. Eh. You won't know. There might be mm. something special in there for well, you. I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> you had to think about that, didn't you? No, I didn't. But the funniest thing I saw was I saw a chick, a woman, um, chipping into the sand trap. She's working on she was, her landing. I, I don't. Make sure I don't, no, no. She was chip. like. How far behind was she? She was beside the sand trap and she was chipping the ball into it. Oh. It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Obviously not on purpose. She was chipping it, I think, on purpose. I don't know what was going on. But it's like. Like was she aiming this way but hit it over here? No, she was right aiming hit. in the sand trap. Okay. Maybe she didn't want her degree. Maybe she wanted to practice her bunker shots. After. Well, it was the practice. I'm just going to give you a Capitol whole bunch Hill. of what ifs. I don't know. I don't know. But it was nice to be the same place where you played your national championship in college. Yeah, national. Was Grand it national. Grand, Grand national. Is it the lakes or the links course that you played on? The lakes, I think. 18 was like a dog leg left, I believe. <sighs> yeah, going in, in the clubhouse to your right. Yeah. It was nice. Food was good. I will tell you, I was not too happy with the showers. They weren't. They were cooler. Like at the golf course showers yeah, or the, the golf hotel? Course, the See, how many hotels cl- you stayed? So, so just tell two. us. So you went to. So food. we went to Robert Chen Jones. Right. Well, I know you did the trail, right? Well, yeah, I did but the what, trail. But where'd you guys fly into? Where we, flo- we flew into Birmingham. Birmingham. Okay. That's in Alabama. Uh, and then drove and we played Farm Links which is uh, Michael Herdzing, of yeah. uh, course, and uh, Carpath Only, um, which everything was Carpath Only, so I'm a little bit bitter about that. Uh, there was... Because oh, they overseed? No, because it just rained. It, yeah, I guess they don't drain well. But uh, it, was an, it was pretty. I mean, it, you could see a lot of like Aaron Hills and Westfield. Like his, you can see that's a de- like early. his design scope. Yeah. Uh, very nice. They had this one undul- not undulation. It was like a drop, and I thought the at any point the um, on the way down from this massive hill that um, the cart was going to topple. It was like they made a speed limit for the cart of ten miles per hour, and we were going eight. And I scared shitless because there's <laughs> if you go over right, it's like driving in Napa um, in the mountains. It's like you're screwed. And there's no protection in a cart. I mean, you're just going to fall out. I mean, there's no like doors no or, you know, or no. Well, yeah, there was, but it wasn't like high enough. You would fall over enough. it. <laughs> yeah, it was It was pretty scary. But um, we did that. And we so you dro- were in the passenger seat, I take it. No, I'm a driver. I lead. I'm a leader, I'm a trailblazer. Yeah. So then we went and played. Uh, we'd left there. I mean, it literally closed at six and it was like all dark. And uh, we got done like right at like 6.10. And it's like, all right, well, I guess we're leaving. But I tell you, you know, you see these movies where people get like 
stolen or killed, yeah. I felt like we were driving through there. Like you do not want to stop and you do not want to break down and you do not want to run out of gas because there's like no houses and there's like no lights and you hear a lot of noises. Driving right around, around the golf course? No, just, just like, like driving around, like going, because we were like in the middle of, we we're in Sa- Segalua, Segawia, Segalua. Yeah. It's on Talladega Drive or something like that. Yeah. So, but it was cool. Um, so where'd you stay that night then? You- we drove down to Capitol Hill. We stayed at the Marriott and uh, that was quite uh, joyous. The waitress she said, well, what would you like to drink? An Amstel Light? She's like, what's that? I'm like, do we carry that? I'm like, yeah, it's the first thing on your menu. She didn't know what Amstel Light is. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Maybe it was the first day. Or second, but it was good. <laughs> uh, we played uh, We played uh, 36 holes the next day, and um, Carpath only. Carpath Capitol only. Hill, then? Yeah, Capitol Hill. And then uh, we played 18 on Friday, and then we drove to Auburn and stayed at uh, the Marriott there, and that was fantastic. She played Capitol three times? We played the three different courses. So the oh, judge, so the judge, the legislator, and the senator was not a huge fan of the senator. That's kind of their link style course. That's where they had an LPG. Who event. did that one? You know, uh, Robert Trent Jones. Dude, it's the Robert Trent Jones. Trail. Well, you're right, but you played, <laughs> but you played one that wasn't. Yeah, but we're on the trail yeah. now. Okay, well, just you know, stick with me, big boy. Well, I didn't know if you drove ten minutes down the road to go to no, down about the an course. hour, but okay. An hour. And we did that and um, did not get any golf balls from David Broner. He said he'd send me golf balls. Not getting any golf balls. He didn't respond to me after I said I was going down there. So either you pissed him off during the podcast or he just, you know. Well, maybe you pissed him off. I did not piss him off. I'm supporting his economy. And then we uh, we went to Grand National and, um, you know, uh, previously we might have gone to an adult entertainment venue, which I could care less about. But I've changed. I actually got a massage, oh. and you went to the spa, and uh, for forty dollars extra, I put CBD oil all over my body. Well, my back mm. at least. And uh, I don't know if it made did a it difference. Work? Um, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Did I you did, feel good. I did that day? Friday, and we played sa- Saturday, and I swear to God, it was the Grand National. It was the Lakes Course where you played the NCAA tournament at. When we teed off, it was thirty-eight degrees. Oh, the okay. sun was out. And the wind was anywhere from 19 to 29 miles per hour. Okay. When we finished, it was 41. Not and, not 20 to 30, 19 to 29. 19 to 29. That's what it said <laughs> on my phone. I like exact numbers. <laughs> I mean, seriously. No, seriously. That, it's a 19 I mean, to 29. Hey, it's 19 or 20. Makes a difference. It's 22 now, so I better take my, you know, oh, we're, we're, we're yeah. going to talk about this in a second. But it felt like. I looked on the comp- the thing at, at 10, like 12 a.m. or 10, 15 a.m. Feels like 29 degrees. Mm-hmm. It was the coldest I've ever played in. And it was car path only, which I'd that rather walk rather with a caddy. Walk. That day you'd rather walk. The problem is there, I don't think there's any caddies in Alabama. They're all working at the Waffle House. Well. Or the barbecue place. You probably don't want to walk some of those courses, though. Uh, No, I would not. <laughs> No, like the lakes wouldn't have been bad. We didn't play the links. Yeah. We got they had a, a frost delay. We didn't play Sunday. We did the frost delay. There's no. There's a so frost you just delay. Didn't play. No, well, because we, we would have missed our flight. But um, you could have played nine holes. No, because there. So we were supposed to tee off at eight thirty. We would have got on at eleven thirty, and we had to leave at like twelve fifteen oh, okay. to get to the airport. So we we're about an hour and fifteen minutes away. I think it was. But a couple issues I had. Okay. Well, let's talk about what you liked first. No, no, I want to talk about it. So I was in a sand trap. I hit in a sand well, trap. what the fuck are you doing in a sand trap? Well, I will tell you, that, the sand trap, problem. the Saturday, the coldest it day ever. No, 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 no. <laughs> the sand trap was actually warmer. I felt well, warmth it, going into the sand trap. I don't yeah. know if it was the sand reflecting the sun. That and you'd probably block from the wind. No, it wasn't deep enough. There yeah, was a little bit, wind. though. Mm, not much. Yeah. But what, the bunkers usually What are pissed feeling. me off was there's a jackass who teed off in front of us and he didn't rake the bunker. And what in this what ball went in the size eleven and a half to twelve f- twelve inch footprint was mine. I played it out. Did you play a local rule with your buddies? Hey. Um, no, I hit it. To prove a point. 
I should have moved. Did you, I should did have you moved. go up? Did you, did you drive up to the guy? And, no, I don't know who yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, plus, no, I couldn't have driven up. I'd have it to walk up. It could have been up. before him, too. Well, they would have raked it the, the morning of. Oh, so you were the second group off. We were the so it could have been sixth. There. So it could have been someone in the first five groups. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Groups. I don't know if it's a person in front of me. Oh, well, you But rake said, the damn bunker. Yeah, I know. A lot, it drives a lot me nuts. Like, just rake the bunker. I've been, yeah. Not gonna say where, but you've never raked places. a bunker. You've never raked a bunker. Yes, I have. You're a pro goal. You had the damn caddy. Well, he did it there, but I mean, it's not like I didn't play other places, other times. Yeah. And now I don't have a caddy. Yeah. I rake it. <laughs> you're I'm like, in the bunkers a lot now. You're like Ricky, Andy, where are you, man? Are you you're coming? Yeah. I'm playing at windmill. Yeah. It's funny, but that was that was the thing. Um, I will tell you, America Standard makes a toilet. That it seemingly like like literally wraps around your nuts. So like when you pee, your balls are here and the toilet's like goes under you. It's like a like a like a it's weird. But there's like no splash. I like that. I might try to get that in my house. Well it's like Europe, they don't their water's like underneath, so Yeah. So you, there's no splash, it just hits the Yeah. And the problem then, is then. the problem is if you pee excessively and real hard, it might tip it up closer. I mean, so we're talking standard. about toilets on a golf trip. It's important in a shower. Listen, you know, on a golf trip, you're going to the toilet more than you'd, you'd when you would at home. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Why would I? Food. You eat differently and you drink differently. And yeah, you're but I, well, I don't drink like where I'm going to go throw up. No, I'll stop. No, that I'll would let, be I'll tough. Let you to throw. guys do. No, I don't do that too. I've only had yeah. a couple beers. I had a great margarita. Didn't have any wine on the trip. Not one glass. You want to know why? The wines list sucked. Well, I'm sure. Louis Martini, I, I just, it was all corporate. And when you're eating barbecue, you don't drink but wine either. But isn't that either. the case anywhere now? Mm, Seems like. Not the independents. We we went to a couple. Well, I mean, but if you go to a chain anywhere, yeah. it's all. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, that's true. And they're the same everywhere you go, whether you're in Alabama or Ohio, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you go to Alabama. Yeah, that's true. You go to Applebee's or someplace like okay, that. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to Applebee's. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, if you do, it's probably going to be the same. True overweight people don't eat at Applebee's. Well, I did. I just was making a reference, not necessarily saying that you eat there. We ate at the same. Uh, what if somebody else in this country does eat there? And yeah, I'm that's okay. Saying, that's fine. Know, it's like drinking. It's, it's like drinking mass produced wine. That's fine. But you didn't go to any. Did you go to like a local pub or a local? We went to Moe's Original Barbecue twice, two days in a row. Downtown Auburn. Yeah. White that's, barbecue that's sauce. That's fun, right? That's yeah. what you do. You go eat there, and you gotta yeah. go to the, where it's. The local flavor, right? I felt uh, older, and I was looking at all these young kids drinking beer on a Saturday. Yeah. It's like, like when I, we used to fly out west, right? First thing you do when you land in L.A., you go to in and out Burger, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was kind of the trick. You can only have it to and from the airport. Why? Because if not, you'll eat it every freaking day. And it's, Is it that good? It's, I mean, it's it's good, but... You want what you can't have, and you can't have it all the time. Yeah, you do... You know, for us, it was a couple times a year, right? It wasn't a major amount, but it was L.A., Phoenix. You can get it out in San Francisco. But when you got near Pebble, right, you didn't, you wouldn't eat it. No. Because it wouldn't be out there. So it's to and from the airport. It was our rule. Yeah. But it was a good trip. Because you're already eating like shit when you're traveling anyway, flying, right? Speak for yourself. Right. Oh, yeah. Do you take your own Fried pickles? Yeah. Uh, Fried pickles were good. You think fried's good. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> the fried pickles were, were good, but it was yeah, a good trip. But it has that good that sweet and sour and mm-hmm. fatty mix, right? Yeah. So we what we did on Saturday and Friday, because we only played eighteen, which was smart, we just sat at the bar and we had like three small tabletops and there was two big screen TVs right in front of us. We just watched college basketball. It was great. Nice. And the NCAA tournament already week. started. Well, yeah. Um, but the conference championships and stuff, yeah. Yeah, the conference champions were great. We watched some great games. Did you see Kent State and Akron? We watched it. Yeah. We watched it. It's good. Uh, Akron's, Akron killed them. Yeah, those guys made a mistake. Because <laughs> I think Kent beat them twice, right? Yeah. Well, and Kent then, only beat them by like a one point the last game yeah. at, at Akron. Yeah. But they beat them both times, right? And then mm-hmm. they did that stupid thing. And What'd they do? You didn't see that? Well, I, I don't know. What was it? Made that video in the locker room and said F Akron. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Well. And so they suspended four guys, and only one was a starter, but you just When was that? that? Like the night before they posted it or something? So wait, so the, the final game they were missing a starter and three other players? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Kent was, yeah. But I mean, I think it, it was more, it wasn't just the player that was the issue. I think the, the whole thing. It didn't look good. But why would they do that? I don't know. You think with today's, you know, social media, they coach these kids on that stuff, you would think, right? Mm-hmm. Don't put anything out there that's controversial. Yeah. And anytime you tell another school, F off, right? You're, mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't think that's controversial. If you don't, yeah. there's some. But anyway. Yeah. So well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like this weekend's gonna be fun, right? Watching all the. Mm-hmm. Well. It'll be the week after. Week after, yeah. but yeah, by the time this airs, I love it. Yeah, you yeah. got uh, we had a group. We're gonna have a great because this will air after um, the this weekend. first round. But yeah, we've got a we have a we'll have a great team. Patty's day. I'm thinking on Friday of just uh, maybe not working and just watching basketball all day. I always play. Your kids go- have school. Uh, they do. See, ours don't for some reason. Yeah, I know. And Saints, another one of the other uh, Catholic schools, Saint Sebastian, doesn't have school. We have it. Yeah, we strive for excellence at Saint Hilary's. Yeah, it's one of the best weekends in sports, and it? yeah, it's like it's great. Did I know a lot of people go to Vegas? I know some friends that yeah, fly out yeah. and do that, and they just sit in the in the bookie room and whatever the sports book yeah. room and just drink, eat, and have fun. And I mean, I get it, like, but yeah. It's kind of what you were doing, but you're sitting at yeah. a bar and just eating yeah. and watching games. Yeah, and it's and it's and it's. Uh, were I, they all? Were they like your buddies all Ohio? Or are they from all over? Um, my brother-in-law's Ohio State times two undergraduate med school. No, but the where they live, they all. Live. Uh, one's yeah. Florida, three and three of us Ohio, but like yeah. only one went to Ohio State. Um, but you know the similarity between a Michigan fan and Ohio State have in common. Neither went to Ohio State. You ever heard that joke before? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. That's a good joke. Yeah. Good joke. So did Kent State make the NIT the not invited tournament? I think so. Yeah. I like to call it the not invited I know. I don't yeah. know. They, I don't. Yeah. I didn't look, but I saw actually they got UCLA, which, I mean, every game's tough In now. the East region in Portland. I didn't realize the East well, region was funny. in Portland. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> it, they changed that a few years ago, right? They tried to get... They want more fans in the crowd, right? Because if they would have had UCLA the first two rounds playing in New York or something, yeah, no one's going to go, right? But now they try to get uh, – they'll, they'll travel up to Portland, but they're not, you know, they're not going to come out this way. But then no. once they – if they get through the first two rounds, and then they will be playing probably in, what, Atlanta yeah, who cares? or yeah. Charlotte or something. Who cares? So. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Robert Keenan Winery, located in the historic Spring Mountain District of the Napa Valley, celebrate the best round you ever had or get over your sorrows after the snowman on number 18. Drown yourself in one of the 14,000 cases per year they produce. Combining the dedication of experienced winemakers with a commitment to excellence, the Robert Keenan Winery has distinguished itself as a maker of exceptional wines in limited varietals and quantity. Wines for sipping, wines for enjoying, wines for enhancing any occasion. In the last eight vintages, 42 wines have been rated between 90 and 97 points by Robert Parker Jr. As a special thank you, use code Clubs and Corks, all in uppercase, and receive 20% off your next order with Keenan Winery. They are golfers just like me we'll be right and back. you. All right, so we're back. And um, you're back. I'll we're just, back. Wow. So I want, okay, so golf trip. I want to talk about my golf. So my chipping sucked, and right. it was the first time out. When you're going out for the first time, and, and a lot of people do off-season golf trips, I don't know if I'd ever go back to Alabama the beginning of March because it was uh, Cold. weather. Yeah, like the weather was better in, in Ohio than it was in Alabama, at least the one or two days. Um, yeah, but that was a rare front yeah. that came through. I mean, yeah, you so, saw what happened. At yeah, you know, what it is to, you know what it is the next day? 65 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> like, come Usually on. Usually it lasts like three, four days, and it's gone. You know? My brother-in-law, who lives in Fort Myers, Florida, was freezing his ass off. Good old Chrissy yeah. says his blood's gotten thinner. Yeah, I said, "Well, I got an extra layer of fat." Help! It was me. cold down there. Though. I think the whole front yeah, came chilly. through and just and the winds, yeah. the wind, like the wind being as like I said, nineteen to twenty nine <laughs> miles per hour. There were shots, like it was honestly a three club wind, because as you know, the lakes has a lot of island, like islandish greens. Too. 
You've seen, you've played it. Yeah. They have a lot of exposed water on almost every court hole. Right. Par three's over water. Sec third shot's over water. Like, how do you, you just, you know, it was so you hard. To, well, you got to understand, like, right, you're exposed, mm-hmm. and then you're a lot of elevation change, so the wind's going to affect it more. Right. right? So that's, like, when you we'd always go to Y, it's like, well, it says it's only 15, and then 15 here, it's totally different, mm-hmm. right? Because you've got a lot of trees and stuff that kind of shelter you a little bit from the, like you play Fairlawn, right? And you got a lot of trees around. Yep. Well, it could be blowing 15, but the wind's really not affecting yep. the ball too much, right? That course, it was affecting it. Right. Whereas you're now you're exposed and you're out there and you got nothing to stop the wind. Same thing the British, there's nothing stopping the wind. And mm-hmm. wind. And then so it affects it a lot more. And the wor- and I think the worst thing with Carp Path only is you, you're playing this wind and you take three clubs thinking it's like, you know, you know, 140 you'll take, let's say, your pitching wedge, your nine. Maybe you'll take your eight just in case. And then you go there and it's like 160 and it's like I'm not going to be hitting my eight iron 160. That's the the, yeah, when it's car path only. That's. I mean, I, it's tough because you, re- you, know. you read the scorecard and then you get up there and based on where the pin and the T is, it could change. So. Yeah. Like one hole, it was like 92 yards and all I had was my pitching wedge, my nine and my eight because I thought it was farther <laughs> How than far the wind. How far was the, the wind, cart, so I, 10 feet down the hill? No, it was like on the other side. It was like my brother-in-law went ahead, which he should have because you want to no. keep it moving. Right. But it's, um, hey, listen, it, it is what it is, but I need to work on my chipping and putt. My putting wasn't horrible. It was hard to read That's the That's a greens. hard time. Well, you go right from here, not practice, and then you go on Bermuda that you don't play all the time. I hate Bermuda glass. And grass. so- then it's probably dormant, right? To it's, a certain extent, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it so it's not quite grown in, so it's just different. It's, and then it was wet. Yeah, well, that makes it harder. Yeah, a so, lot of times when it's wet like that, just just take less lofted club, swings, you know, don't use as much wrist, just kind of yeah, get the ball rolling. Use more foot than wrist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or just throw it on the green. It's fun. You know what? Golf trips are great. Um, we got in at Let's like. Let's put it this way: you weren't playing golf up here last week, so. No, but I could this week. It's supposed to be nice. Yeah, but it's gonna be so wet, right? Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever, and I don't know. I think we usually go in May, which is you know your body's a little bit better. Right. My back, so my right side, my back's a little bit hurting a little bit, but whatever. Um, well, that CBD oil didn't help, huh? No, it kind of wore off. <laughs> uh, but um, the thing is, with like early March, it's like you know what? I just lowered my expectations, and and whatever. It was yeah, fun and fun. Helps my handicap for when we play against Portage. Uh, but um, Well, that's the point. You just go and have fun. And if you play good, great. If not, yeah. just grab another beer. Makes it all yeah, better. I don't drink when I play, though. Well, and you were playing somewhat early, too. It didn't stop the, some of the other guys. No, I know. But there's a lot of guys at 8 o'clock. Want a beer? What? Yeah, yeah. even 7.30. Can, 7 we, 30, can yeah, we at least get through one hole, please? Yeah, they, they're not bad, but there's a couple people can I get, at, at can Fairlawn. Can I finish my coffee? For yeah, it's just like they're drinking beer at like 7.45 on a Saturday, and it's like they, you know, eight beers later. and I can't do that. Yeah. No, I can't either. Like, if, like for example, if you play, I play, and then drink, have lunch, mm-hmm. eat, drink, take a nap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do those thirty six holes anymore, though. No, I, I, we're, you know what? We're uh, you did it one day, right? We did it one day, and they're both on carts. Was car path only? I was talking to my brother in law, so we're doing for his fortieth going to Scotland next year, and um, we're only going to do two regions instead of three. And uh, there yeah. might be one day, like Kings Barn and Panmure, Panmure, we might play thirty six. But what I noticed is if you're playing, like we play, we're supposed to play f- over five days. It's just if you're going to play over four, five, six, seven, or five to seven, eight days, one 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 round is is more. Well, than Well, and enough. you're going to have a time change, weight, you know, big difference. Yeah, and so, you know, you're just going to be the whole time. You're just tired, and it's yeah. You know, that's not the fun of it, right? Yeah, you want some time where you can rest. Like maybe the day you fly in, you know, you could do 36. You're so tired anyway. <laughs> No that's matter what, that's, that's gonna like shoot your body. You're gonna be like so much in pain. Or you, then you, you sleep. You would play thirty six holes the first day you're in Scotland. You could. You could, but would you? Oh, I would. I wouldn't play at all. But I mean, <laughs> but I'm I was not, thinking, I'm not gonna play want, this hole. Yeah. But if you wanted a 
stay awake and get to the time change better. Yeah. That'd be a great way because at least you're moving and active and you can, yeah. you're not going to just fall asleep, right? Yeah, that's true. You know. We'll play nine. Yeah. Or we'll play 18, I mean. We'll play yeah. 18. We'll, we'll probably, the problem is you got to drive right. like an hour, hour and 10 minutes. Yeah. That's, There's going to be me driving right. on the other side of the road. Yeah, oh, baby. Oh, boy. I was born and raised like that. I'll, I'll warn the Scottish government, clear the road. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows if that's, you know, with everything going on in the world, but um, yeah. That, I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, it's interesting, but yeah, it is interesting. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't. Some people who do, they'll go away for four days, like you say, and play thirty six every day, except for the day they travel. I, I, we all have friends that do that, and I, I used to be that guy. You'd play like eighteen, thirty six, thirty six, eighteen. Now it's like eighteen, maybe thirty six, eighteen, eighteen. Because here's the thing: like my, Melissa always says to me, like if you from a golf trip, you better not come back tired. You know. She was yeah. telling me the the well. Think well, about this too. Like you, you know, you're you're at these cool places. You want to enjoy what's around there instead of just get up. Yeah, but a quick lo- breakfast, play. Yeah, quick lunch, play. Yeah, but a lot of these places, quick like dinner. Bandon, <laughs> yeah, but a lot of these places like Bandon, Aaron Hills, Sand Valley. There's nothing else yeah, out there. But they have, I mean, the cool spots. You can. They got the putting courses, right? Yeah. And, uh, you can do that kind of stuff with drink, have some fun and, you know, have dinner, sit out by the fire in some of these places. Yeah. Like Pebble, right? You can go over to Spanish Bay. Even if you don't stay there, just you, go You're over not there. playing 36 holes at, uh, at Pebble Beach for no. that price. No. I mean, let's be honest. Some guys do, though. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm They'll done. play Poppy and then go play Pebble or Pebble yeah. and then Poppy or whatever. Poppy's nice, yeah. You know, or Pebble and Spyglass. Yeah, wherever. Whatever. And, or Spyglass. You know, maybe they only play eighteen the day they're playing Pebble, but they might play Spyglass and then Poppy or. I think the Monterey. problem is when you go on a golf trip, you're, you're probably not going to go back to this place every year, so you want to get everything in. Well, and I think if you if you never go again, right? If it's a once, I could see that, but and I've been spoiled too, playing yeah. all over the world. And, yeah, and so not like, having to pay for it. Well, but I mean, but you, you did have to pay for it in that essence, yeah. but. But you see all these great places, so it's like, eh, just play 18, I enjoy the course, and go enjoy what's around it. See, you can play these places for free because you're a PGA Tour, or don't you get like free golf pretty much? It just depends. Okay. So 95% of the places you play, they're going to comp you because you're a major champion and you're PGA Tour. And you think, maybe you should play more those places than when you actually played because it was cheaper now than it was when you're actually a professional golfer because you had to pay for a caddy. Yeah, well, you had to pay for all the travel. You had to pay for an agent. Yeah, but that was how I made money too. Yeah, but we're not talking about the past. <laughs> it's not about making money anymore, <laughs> Benjamin Curtis. Uh, it's about just agreeing with my rationale. Well, some weeks I made money. Some yeah. weeks I was slamming and throwing out five grand, six grand. Like what the hell? Is that crazy? But it's crazy. But hey, I yeah. understood the upside was way better. Yeah. I just look at, like, we were talking about banding because we went to banding last year, and um, we just do it differently, you know. And the problem is when you go to some of these places, it's so hard to get to that you just want to cram it all in. Well, but I, then when you, and I think it's they do it on purpose, too. right? Yeah. Bandon, They're building a six course. Bandon's Sand Valley, do, they, they, it's hard to get to, so you're there, you're there. Yeah. So you're spending everything on property. Sand Valley's a little bit easier because you can fly into Madison, and I think yeah, it's but, two, two and a half hours. Right, but it's still... Yeah. I mean, we're lucky we're only an hour flight from there, whereas some people, you know. Bandon's a, if you don't fly into OTH, which is a North Bend, yeah. it's a it's a long way to Tipperary because it's Eugene, and you're going to have a layover, you're going to get to Eugene, and then you have to drive two and a half hours. How but they have shuttles. Portland? Five. Oh, it's way, because yeah. it's southern part, right? Mm-hmm. It's southern. And it's on the water. Yeah. So maybe we need to build a golf course, the Ben Curtis Golf Trail. Where? Where's and our water? Where, who's going to fund this? And I'll use your name. I'll whore it out. <laughs> I think we can find some. We got some. We know some designers. They're not going to give us a discount, but <laughs> I don't. I think that the economics of building a golf course right now are probably ridiculous. I mean, I know golf's booming, but at some point, it's going to wear thin, right? Yeah. A little bit, like it did early two thousands to. To the late, you know, mid two thousand, right? And mm-hmm. it started, <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah, 
It is what it is. It is. It's so expensive, right? You got yeah. you got to have twenty million just to start something. Yeah. Well, it's like the joke with Napa. You know how you make a million dollars in the wine in wine business in Napa? Spend five. For you start three. with five. That's a million, not five dollars. Yeah. So, well, we'll be back next week. Cool. Yeah. Follow us, like us, love us, review. support us, review us. Uh, drink Keaton wines because they're good and yummy, and they support us and keep us going and. That's pretty much it. Nice. Thanks. Bye, Thank Bernice. You. Claudette. No, Claudette. what do we call her? Claudette. No, not Cla- Claudette. Claudidia? Or no, Cla- not Claudidia. Claudidia. No, what Claudia? Claudia? No, not Claudia. I'll think of a name for her. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks it's for like listening to the Canadian Clubs and Corks. flag, by the way. It does. Kind of. Yeah. We call her, what's the queen? Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> that is pure rubbish. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. <laughs>